Assalamualaikum, dear grade two. I hope you all are well. Grade two, we are going to start our new unit of science, and unit name is water. But all of you know that water is very essential part of our living. We need water. Animals need water, and human uh, and plants also need water. From where water come? Water come from rain, or it's stored into ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and then how water come to us? Where does water go? And uh, it forms a water cycle. This all we will read in this unit. First on page number seventy eight. Today we will do this warm up activity, warm up activity, and then we will do reading. From here we have to look that boy is drinking water. So what is happening here? For which purpose water is using? Boy is using water for drinking. You will write here drinking. How many glasses we should drink? Eight glass. And then for um, here, what for which purpose boy is using water? He is using water for teeth brushing, and how many mugs? We should use one mug for this brushing. Then taking bath. Here, boy is taking bath, and how many buckets? One. Here is write three other ways in which you use water. We use water for here. You will write cleaning, washing, swimming. When you done. you will do reading what happens when you keep a bucket under a running tap very soon water gets collected in the bucket in the same way when it rains water gets collected in low areas on the ground at home most of us get water through pipes but where does this water come from we get this water from rivers and lakes there are many sources of water sources of water rain rain is main source of water the major the main the important source of water is rain have you seen a puddle during the rainy season here is one activity for you you have to color this picture that children are playing in puddle the in water of rain they are playing you will do this coloring rain water also fills up ponds lakes streams rivers and seas we use these sources of water for our various needs a pond is small body of water surrounded by land on all the sides a lake is large body of water entirely surrounded by land next is stream a stream is a thin channel of water flowing down a mountain the stream becomes bigger and bigger as it flows down the mountain to form a river rivers flow into the sea a sea is a huge body of water sea water is salty you can see here here is a pond a small water body is pond and bigger than this pond it is a large water body it is a lake and bigger than lake is the sea and in sea water from streams coming water from rivers coming all waters fall into the sea for today you have to uh, write this work on your book and do this coloring and do reading of page number 78 to page number 79 sea water and then underground water this we will do in our next lecture have a great day dear students allah hafiz